Hello, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video we are going to talk about the count method in Ruby, the count method. Okay, so count is an enumerable method, just like select, map, or inject. Okay, and like the name says, it allows you to count things. Right, you can give it a block, and we count the times that block and returns true. Okay, uh, this can be very useful as you will see in a moment. I'm going to show you a code example. Okay, so here's my editor Atom, and we're going to see some code. Okay, so let's say I have some strings. Like this, percent W to create some strings A, B, B, C, C, C. Okay, yes. so we have something to work with. Okay, next, let's say we want to count all of the strings that have a size, the string size is bigger or higher than 2. Okay, so let me have another one. Okay, so higher than two will mean CCC and DDD. Okay, so without the count method, the way to do this is with an actual count. You will do something like count equals zero, and then you will do strings at each, and you will have a block, right? will be something like this then you will check if your string you will need an if statement if a string size higher than two then count plus equals one okay and at the end you will need to return the count so we will need to do all of that to count without the count method okay but with count, it becomes a lot easier. We don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need the temporary variable, and we don't even need the actual if statement. We just need or the plus one. So look, everything I'm removing. All of that is gone. And I also, since this is now one line, I, com I can convert this into the curly bracket syntax which is a bit nicer okay so I'm going to do that using one atom plugin okay and now notice what we have strings count if a string size is greater than two okay so this we will see the result on the right if I print it, right, and it's two because we only have two that have a size greater than two. Now, if we say size greater than one, the output will be three, right? Because we have one, two, and three strings that have a string size greater than one. So as you can see, the count method is very useful, very easy to use. I can be used with other objects. It doesn't to be used strings. It can be numbers. So let me demonstrate. Okay, numbers. Uh, let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay, that will be enough for for this demonstration. So let me do numbers count. So let's say we want to count the numbers that are even, just the even numbers. Okay, so let's do this num dot even question mark. And since this returns true or false, that's good enough for our count method. Okay, so let's see what happens. We get three. So this three is from here. Let's comment that. We get three. Why? Because we have two 
4 and 6 which are even numbers right if we change this to odd we get also get, get 3 because 1 3 5 okay and also you can use the shortcut syntax for this and what i mean is let me show you one moment put count and this is what i mean this is the symbol to proc that's what this this is called um version and this is just a shortcut okay this is just doing this gets you the same result as this code but it's more as this code but it's more compact okay you you don't have you don't need the curly brackets you don't need the parameter you just need the method that you want and this little symbol there okay so that's count remember it can be used with a strings it can be used with numbers anything you want i it allows you to quickly count based on some condition okay so i hope you found this video useful if you did please subscribe to this channel okay so you can get more videos like this and keep learning and thanks for watching thanks for your time i appreciate it see you in another video bye bye